Hi there you my bidding friends, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Bidding and in today's video I will show you how to make these beautiful retro style earrings. For them I'm using copper earring findings and I'm using only uh, 11 0 and 10 0 seed beads and 8 millimeters and 6 millimeter pearls. If you have one size you could make only elements. Uh, from uh, one and the same size but uh, this way I think they are cooler so if you like what I'm showing you here I will teach you step by step really easy how to make them so stay with me follow me and I'm sure you're gonna be making them and if you make them it's a good idea to share them on my Facebook page that I posted below if you're new here consider subscribing to check out my next upcoming videos so now I'm going to start with a list of the materials okay guys so for this video what I'm using are eight millimeter pearls four of them and six millimeter pearls that are in this beautiful brick red color and I'm using 10 os these are creamy color and 11 o seed beads that are this cool red dark red uh, color with uh, metallic and anti-glare look and i'm using copper color of um, ear wires because i think they fit better in these earrings and i'm using size 10 beading needle monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters you could use other beading thread you like and i'm using flat nose pliers to squeeze my thread to go to this size 10 beading needle if you use different type of thread you won't need the pliers and you could use scissors or an instrument to cut closer to your work uh, that i'm using here so now i'm going to start and i will take about three feet of thread on my needle and this is about 90 centimeters for those who measure in meters and i'm going to start okay guys and now what i'm going to do is take one of these beautiful atos and i'm going with my needle through it i'm leaving a small tail here and what i want to do next is take nine of these beautiful creamy tenos beads okay now i have nine on my needle and i'm going to go back through this bead in circle and i'm holding my tail thread here and now i'm going to take nine more okay and i have nine here so i'm going back through this bead And when I pull, I have this. Now, what I want to do is go through all of these beads here at this row. I'm going with my thread through these beads and pulling. And what I want to do is exit here where my tail thread is. Okay. Now, I want to make a knot with my tail thread and my main thread okay so what I'm doing here is making a loop and going twice through this loop I've made here okay and I'm pulling now I have what is called a surgeon's knot and now I will take my needle again and I want to go several more times around this bead reinforcing this row to make it nice and tight. Okay, and now I think my work is secured and it's nice and tight. Now for my next row, I'm going to start taking 
of these beautiful uh, dark red beads and uh, as I'm exiting of one of my beads I'm taking two dark red beads and I'm going back in circle through the same bead I I'm exiting out of so I'm exiting out of this bead back in circle and I'm going through the next one as well and I'm pulling then in my next step I will take only one bead and I will go back through this one that I'm exiting out of so my thread is exiting out of this one and I'm going back in circle through it and through the next one okay then I will take two more beads and I'm going back through this one that I'm my thread is exiting out of and through the next one okay then I'm taking one just one going back through this then I want to take two again of these beautiful 11 holes and I'm going back through the same bead I added and now guys I'm gonna continue this adding one two one two and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now I'm finishing this row and what I want to do you see how curly it looks and now we're gonna fix this and we're gonna fix this by going through the next bead here and I will go in circle through all of my beads, making them sit straight. Okay, through this one. Then through the following two. Okay. And I'm gonna continue this until I go around all of my bead here and make all of this row stay straight okay I'm going around and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now I went through all of my beads here you could do a second round if you think it will look better and now I will exit somewhere here and I want to go in my inside row and I will pick a place to make a knot because I want to cut my thread okay so I'm picking a thread bridge I'm going through this thread bridge making a loop and going once then going second time through this loop I've made and I'm pulling now this is what I have and I might want to continue doing this here at the back of my of my work and um, when I'm ready I will go through uh, one of my next beads and I will cut my thread but first make a lot of knots and then cut your thread because you want your element to be really secured okay guys now I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with the smaller size of bead and I will do the same thing but I will less I will add less beads around it so now my thread is shorter I will take uh, two feet of thread that is 60 centimeters of thread and I'm going through this bead you could uh, take uh, two and a half feet or 75 centimeters if you're worried it will be too small okay so now what I want to do is take seven beads instead of nine because this is my six millimeter pearl and I have them here but I will be doing basically the same thing okay I'm going through this bead and pulling I'm holding my tail thread and here I need seven again and I have my seven here and I'm going around this bead then uh, the same way I showed you with my other bead I'm going 
through all of those beads of one of my sides. Okay, going out of here. And now, here, what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by going once and then going a second time through the same loop I've made and I'm pulling and now I have this and guess what now I will do the same thing I will go and I will reinforce my work by going several more times around it and when I'm ready I'll be back to show you what's coming up next Okay guys, and I went several times reinforcing this part here and now I'm going to start adding my outside row. And for my outside row, the only difference is that I'm taking first two beads, then and I'm going back through the same bead I added and through the next one, then I'm taking again two beads, so this is the difference. And I'm going back through the same bit and through the next one. And then I'm taking only one bit. Okay. And then I'm going to continue doing this. I'm taking two. Going back through this and through the following. Then I'm taking two again, going back through this and through the following. And here I'm adding just one. Going back through it and through the following. And continue guys adding two to one, two to one. And I'll meet you here about the end of my work. Okay, and now I'm here at my last two beads of this row and I just added I just added one so now it's time to add two and I'm going through the last one and here pay attention instead of adding two again I will add just one only the last step is different. Okay. So in my last step I'm adding only 2, 1 instead of 2, 2, 1. Okay. Now what I want to do is go through my next bead here. Okay going through my next bead and then you see how curly it looks but now we're gonna straighten it up okay and in order to do this we are going through some beads in this outside row okay and I will do this going around all of my beads and I'll be back to tell you how to make your knot. Okay guys, and I went around all of my beads and you could do it twice if you want to make it even uh, look better. And I want to show you how to make your knots. So I'm going back at this side of my work, which will be my back side. My beads are popping up from one of my sides, so this will be my front side and I will make knots from the back side. So I'm making a loop here and I'm going once, then I'm going second time through the same loop I've made. And what I do is that I pull and I'm gonna continue making knots and when I'm ready I will cut my thread and I will show you how to assemble your earring. Okay guys, and what I did here is that I repeated all those steps uh, two more times and now this is what I have. You could make a bracelet like this, but you could decide 
making turning this into an earring and this is what I'm going to show you our earring will look like this now what I have to do is just make them stay like this by sewing them together and I have about uh, two feet of thread on my needle which is 60 centimeters and now you see how my pearl is not equal from both sides so uh, here is where my hole is and I think this is one millimeter less than at this direction so I will turn it this way and what I want to do is sew this one to this one okay and now I will choose four beads here not four but um, six beads from the smaller size that I will use to sew them together and I will choose these uh, six beads and now I will take my other element and I want I will show you how I'm attaching this like that okay I will connect them and in order to do this I'm going with my needle through one of my beads I'm adding a new thread here okay and I'm making a loop and then I'm pulling and what I want to do is go once and then go second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling now what I might want to do is get rid of my tail thread because it will be on my way all the time and I don't want this okay I'm removing this and now I'm taking one of my elements and I'm choosing let's say these two beads to connect it okay so I'm going through these two beads okay and I'm pulling sliding this one next to this one okay now I want to connect these beads by going around them okay so I'm going in this direction through these first two beads like that just in circle through my beads you see what I have here okay then I'm going to repeat this go through these beads then one more time and through this one here okay now what I want to do is reach here at these beads and to reach them I might want to go through the inner row of beads okay just like that then I'm gonna skip the next two beads and what I want to do is exit here two beads away okay these are my middle two beads and I'm exiting out of these beads now I want my next element and I will make it in this direction the same direction as my other so here I have one millimeter difference in this direction where my hole is compared to this direction if your if your bead is completely um, round you won't have this problem so I'm going my thread is 
here exiting out of this bead and I'm going through these two beads and I'm pulling now what I want to do is go around through these two this is absolutely the same what I was doing before okay and I'm pulling this to the center of my work now I might want to go several times around this uh, loop here of beads and I'll be back okay guys and I went several more times around these beads and now I'm going in this direction because I want to exit here and connect these two elements right there where they meet okay just like that then I'm going through these two beads in that direction okay now this is what I have and then I guess you can do by yourself attaching this one here just attach it the same way I was showing you up until now where the beads meet and then I will be back to tell you how to attach your ear wire okay guys and I just sewed together all of my beads and how did I find the place where I was st I started sewing these beads I'm going two beads from the center where I showed you how I'm sewing them and here I'm connecting these two beads with this one and here is the same thing and now what I want to do is reach here and show you how to attach your ear wire so in order to do this I'm going through all of my beads in this direction okay and I think here is the center of my work and now I will take one seed bead, slide it down, then I will take my ear wire, going back through it. And I'm taking one more seed bead and I'm going through those two beads here at the top. okay now this is what I have and I'm going to reinforce this part several more times and when I'm ready I'll be back to show you how to make your knobs okay and after I reinforce this joint here what I want to do is go back and I want to go through some beads here okay so I will go through these beads and I want to go back here at my inner row and I showed you so many times how I'm making this knot okay I want to find a place here at the back go through some thread bridge and as I'm making a loop go twice through the loop I've made and then I'm going to pull I will repeat this several more times and when I'm ready I will cut my thread and my earring will be ready okay guys and when I repeated all of those steps one more time this is what I have I have a beautiful 
pair of earrings. So if you like them and you want to see more tutorials like this, please like, share and comment. If you're new here, consider subscribing and be inspired often. And uh, if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.